Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a very, very important research project here. We've been playing for hours upon hours upon hours in private matches against some very good snipers, snipers only. That's what we play. But not only snipers only, XRKs only. The only weapon that you can use in this match, private match, 6v6, 7v7, whatever it is, are snipers. And some of those guys are really, really good. So we've discussed over the hours what the best configuration for the XRK Stalker is. Now, I think the XRK is one of the top three snipers in the game right now. It can arguably be called the best sniper in the game. So getting it right is probably pretty important. Now, when we get down to six people in our private matches we go ahead and go multiplayer play out in the wild against snipers and in the snipers only game mode and by the way some of you out there are using longbow some of you all call days are pulling out a longbow and taking it to a snipers only match i don't even need to tell you what that means about you because you already know it in your heart Enough of this foolishness. Let's look at a couple of configurations that I have boiled down to what I consider the best XRK stalker configurations that you can build. First, let's look at one with the Razorhawk laser. Now, I am not a fan of lasers, not in the least. I guess it has to do with my years upon years of being a fighter pilot and not emitting anything that will lead the enemy back to you. But in small maps in 6v6, private maps sni snipers only lasers are okay because everybody else is using them but let's start with the optic the moors dot sight and you can see what it does for mobility and handling and we're going to see this over and over again mobility and handling in my opinion are the two most important aspects of building this configuration but it goes beyond this configuration because the perks that you choose the vest that you choose might also be very very important important. The only other item that I consider important is the fire rate and you can see that you get 50 rounds per minute with this aggregate build. All these numbers are for the aggregate build. Now you can go to the endless cast 14. You'll have to take off the razor hawk but you can see that your numbers do improve somewhat and I noticed with the endless, spoiler alert, that is going to be the second class that I build for you. The hip fires actually work pretty good with this optic but there are other optics that give you the same improvement in mobility and handling 17% on ADS movement speed and 392 milliseconds for ADS speed there are others that will give you that iron sights 1711 just look for 1711 to the right so pick your best sight when it comes to that but make sure you get a minimum of 17% on the movement speed and 11% improvement on ADS speed no stock both builds have no stock in fact there are very small differences for what I consider the two best builds in terms of the attachments and most of these attachments are also agreed upon jointly by the group of aircrew lounge only members who play the private snipers XRK only games the XRK stalker factory grip you can see that it improves handling I don't really care about recoil it's one shot at a time and I'm going to aim between shots now there's also the Bruin or I'm sorry are the FT match grip that a lot of people like because of the sprint to fire speed, the ADS movement speed, and the crouch movement speed. The advantage of the Stalker factory grip is the sprint to fire speed, and that's important on small maps. The Razor Hawk laser, and you can see that sprint to fire, it makes this thing a beast. ADS speed, it helps nearly 10%. This is the controversy as far as Grandpa is concerned because this announces to the world every time you aim down sight that you are there and the handler kp short barrel this is a unanimous draft by everybody that i play with in the private matches and then when we go snipers only public mode so that's build number one and don't worry i'm going to list all these out for you so that it's easy and you can see the differences between the two builds 
The second build now is one that uses the int last. But before we get into that, let's go to the mission control vest. And you can see that that reduces kills. It's important to get your streaks in public matches. Looking at the perks, we go with marksman gloves. Marksman gloves give you reduced sway and flinch during aim down sight. Lightweight boots increases your movement speed because it's all about moving fast. You can also go with the running sneakers, but that's only good for the tack sprint. The mag holster. That improves your reload speed, and reload speed is very important when you're playing private and public matches, snipers only. Then finally, the Hack IFF Strobe. This is the absolute gold piece that's hidden among the clutter, because what this does for you is it keeps those VTOLs, those Overwatch helicopters, those turrets from seeing you and firing on you. You also can't be seen by tactical cameras, or recon drones. Now let's get into the configuration of the weapon. The big difference, the KR Entless LSJ-3, and you can see this is a composite. All the attachments that are hung on this particular build helps with the hip fire, helps with the ADS speed and the ADS movement speed, although not as much as the previous configuration, but like I said, we'll put the numbers side by side. The XRK Stalker Light Bolt. This is a little bit of a controversy because it is not on the other build that I consider a great build is it decreases your rechambered time significantly and your rate of fire goes up 50%. So that's a big bite. I tested them both in the shooting range. And yes, there was somewhat of a difference, but not as big a difference as I expected between having the XRK Stalker light bolt on and not having it on. Those are the only differences, except obviously the laser is missing. And the reason for that is there is a laser in the KR Entless LSJ3 optic. So let's take both of these configurations onto the field of honor and you may have a configuration you like or you might want to build upon the basic bones of this one comment below let us all know because we're all going to be interested in it let's take it onto the field of honor both configurations see how they did for grandpa see what they did to grandpa's enemies let's go i'll list out the configurations for you here take a look at the difference is basically the sights, the optics, the bolt, which is controversial, as is the Razor Hawk laser on configuration one. Configuration two, the Entlass actually has a laser on it. Here are the differences. Configuration one, slightly less rate of fire. It's 50% less, but I really didn't see that in the testing. ADS movement, ADS speed, much better. Very quick, 392 milliseconds. And the sprint to fire on both of them are something to put in your Instagrams and messages. Here are the vest, gloves, boots, and the gear. It's going to be the same for both of them. Mission control for the streaks, gloves, marksman, boots, lightweight for running, mag holster on both of them for the reload time and hacked iff strobe is the golden nugget that keeps you from getting gacked by the enemy's lethal streaks the first game i played stash house snipers only mode so to me if you're sniping snipers only is a bit easier i'm using configuration two here and you can see the configuration on the upper right hand side of the screen I found it was really, really quick and something odd about this configuration. I, I didn't realize until I started using it a fair amount in the testing was that it is good for no scoping or hip shots, whatever you want to call them. There, I got smacked down. So stash house, domination. Pretty hectic. Snipers only. Everybody has the same advantages. There's a no scope or a hip shot. Two in a row. Everybody has the same advantages and disadvantages if you're in the snipers only mode. Except for there's another hip shot, except for the people using the longbow. I could write a term paper on the longbow. Why? 
I question it's used in snipers only, but you know what? It's part of the meta, so just have to deal with it. But as you can see, at 392 millisecond aim down sight, somebody else took care of this guy, I think. Yep. It's a quick, quick weapon. And except for the movement aspects, there's another no scope. You can actually fight with the longbow. It's probably that and the moors are the only two that are going to effectively fight against the movement of the longbow. Another no scope. Oops. So I switched. This is snipers only, so I always carry two snipers. The vest changes just a little bit for snipers only. Oh, actually, this is normal game mode here, so that's the complete configuration to the right. Here, the, the snipers have some advantages, I guess. They're one-shot kill weapons, but the disadvantages, you go against people that are just holding down the trigger and can move a lot faster than you. In this particular game, somebody was really smart with the bow. It's domination, again, in the stash house. And they were filling up the B with about six or seven exploding arrows. I think that's way OP. But this is a fast, fast sniper rifle. And you can see that the not having the bolt didn't really impact me. See all those arrows coming in? Didn't impact me that much. There's another arrow. I think Activision may do something about the power of those exploding arrows. Because I know when I used them, they were pretty amazing. So these sniper configurations are for the way Grandpa likes to play, and that is fast. There's a no scope. Fast movement in your face. Use them almost like you'd use an SMG. Yeah, those people keep pumping Grandpa with those pointy arrows. Have a seat there. There was a guy that had been turned back probably 10 times in high school carrying his books on his backpack. There's the air, bow and arrow guy. We have one on our team too. But you can see you can move quickly. You can aim down sight with it. Razor Hawk though, when you're ADSing, you can see it. See, everybody can see me. There's that guy that's up right in the window there. He was a pain. We had a Muppet in the window. And once again, this is not the sniper's only mode, so these guys are using regular weapons. Missed him on the first shot and came around and got him on the second. I think the XRK, probably the best weapon, or the best sniper weapon in the game. I know that some people disagree. Please let me know what you think the best sniper rifle is and how, what your best configuration is and why in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Cheers and peace to you.